It happened Sunday morning in this apartment. After a forced entry, Plano police found 43-year-old Jennifer Spears dead from multiple stab wounds. They say this is the man that killed her, Kenneth Allen Amex, her boyfriend. They were just people, seriously normal, never heard anything from them. He was in the apartment too, with self-inflicted stab wounds. He's now in Collin County Jail, charged with murder. And we have an individual in custody, and we're going to do a thorough investigation and see if we can determine what was, what was the motive in this case. Spears' friends and family learned the news in the worst imaginable way. On their Facebook feeds, her friend Craig Bowie saw the post. At first, he couldn't tell what it was. And I just quickly scrolled through. Um, but the picture bothered me because it, did, it just didn't make sense to me. It was so such an odd thing for her to post. The killer apparently took photos after the murder, a photo of himself and of the victim's body with a knife wound to her neck. He posted them to her page with the caption, pray for us. I was horrified and my knees buckled when I realized that it was Jennifer. You can see the comments from frantic friends praying she's okay. Eventually, her sister confirmed her death. Police have a copy of the images. We have that as, and that's being used as evidence in our case. Spears' friends are still trying to absorb the loss and the cruel way it was shared. There is a certain level of evil and hatefulness in someone that would do something like that that only her closest friends and family would see.